at the railway compound in Ebutimeta, where all was said to have started in 1898. One still gets to see the solid foundation laid over a century ago on which some of the current structures are built. As new structures are fading out the old, some materials are abandoned unceremoniously, some kept as artifacts. The Nigerian Railway Corporation is one of the oldest institutions in the country. Of course, this place in the Butimeta, the railway compound, holds a special place in history. From personalities, buildings, to artifacts, from pre-colonial to post-colonial events, a walk down in this compound is a walk down memory lane. We are here today not only to trace the past, but to connect current situations and current events. One of the old locomotives can still be found at the running shed, old, rusty, and immobile. We stopped by the Jekyll House, a mini museum at the railway compound. Hi, good morning. Welcome to Jekyll House. Thank you very much. Join me to take you to, through our history. The driver of the train will take a key from here, point A, Ibutemeta, and take that key and report that key that he has arrived as a way to log his presence as he bad on. And then at will, the person managing or monitoring can call and communicate. This is an air alarm. And in this air alarm, it is used to signal an oncoming train for people who are walking on the tracks. So what happens is that, well, this is before the advent of the trains now had their own horns and sound, is that once a train is coming, you would have somebody, an onlooker, do this. And when he does this, he is telling people that a train is coming, a train is coming. The railway heritage is not only preserved inside the building, there are some still sitting on rail tracks. Okay, yeah, let's see. Okay, okay. back. Yeah, back. Oh. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this one that I'm sitting on is called the pump trolley. So in those days, uh, this pump trolley is used in checking the tracks. So the technical officers sit down here, and we have four men that will be doing the pumping to make uh, the pump trolley to move. Away from Ebutemeta, we caught up with 90-year-old engineer Nath Okoro, nicknamed Authentic Railway Man, a name he earned for his vast knowledge of the Nigerian railway system, having worked as the first managing director of the corporation. NRC headquarters became headquarters because the British were here. From 1898, they started construction of the railways from Lagos. So everything was settled here. The white people moved to Okaira. That's the present railway headquarters, um, where we live in Ebutemeta. That area is called Okaira. Did you know that? Well, that's the name. Okay? That Okaira was first round from the market area. That was Okaira. It was the white people. We were about the first group of black men to live there. There's no light, eh? Why haven't you put it on it takes a street library where he stacks up a catalogue of books about railways and still documenting more on his laptop. So everything you want to know about railway, you remember this year. By trying to preserve history because we seem to have lost a lot of... Well, how many of them have asked us what to... What's this? What do they know? They've lost even the books. They don't have. So we first have them. The story of the Nigerian Railway is not complete without tracking and documenting key events that shaped the railway ecosystem. These custodians of history believe will further help the nation foster more development of this sector. Gary Idu, Channels Television News. Mm -hmm.